Yoink. 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 One count. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Got this for about three bucks at a local thrift store. And he sold for $14. We got this Wii 2 gigabyte memory card for the Wii system. And, uh,. I really don't have anything into this, maybe five cents. And this sold for $14, free shipping. And uh, tested it, made sure it was working. So the slight shipper. That came with the uh, 50, uh, $50 Wii bundle that had the Silent Hill game in it. Uh, that was worth 80 bucks. So it's making money at this point, all profit. All right, we got this Lego set here. This is... Mario Thwomp Drop Expansion Set 71376 and this has the Thwomp in it and it's an expansion set so you don't have Mario in there but you do have a few of the things but I got this at the bins for like a buck and uh, I wasn't the original finder of this but someone had seen that I was already getting some Lego in my cart and they decided they didn't want this so they gave it to me uh, and it's a nice score. I sold this whole set, and I'll put what the set's supposed to look up here. It's supposed to look like uh, I sold the whole set for twenty-five dollars plus about eight dollars shipping. Got this at Goodwill. Uh, I think I paid only about two bucks for this DVD, so I don't even know how to say it. Watt stacks. Uh, but 30th anniversary special edition and anything music related that's not a movie I always look at in some cases you get something very special and this one it wasn't too big of a deal uh, but it's in good condition and it has some good comps I just sold this for $13.50 free shipping alright finally sold the last set of underwear tidy whities here these are new in the package briefs and these are actually vintage so i've got about 37 cents into each three pack so there's three three packs here so nine in total for the buyer so i got a little over a dollar into this and these sold for 33 dollars free shipping i'll actually put these in a padded uh flat rate mailer which will be only about eight dollars and 30 cents but been doing pretty good on this and it's finally sold out which I'm happy to say I was trying to get it done by the beginning of the year uh, but February's okay no problem so at a price of 400 I just got my shipment in if you had seen my short video I did for getting this set on a good deal you'll know what I've received here there are multiple sets in here, but there is definitely one big set. Now, this one here is the World of Wonders. This is a VIP exclusive. You had to use points. I think it was 3,700 points. So I went ahead and redeemed that. There's only one of those per VIP account if you have points, of course. And then I've got this guy, which is uh, set 40582, the 4x4 Off-Road Ambulance Rescue, and this was free with purchase. I think you had to spend like 100 bucks or so, and uh, these are selling for about 30 when I checked and I ordered it, and these are selling somewhere around 50 so it's like 80 bucks back on this purchase. Uh, this is what I received here, the Star Wars Master Build. Most Eastly Cantina. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but man, this set is so cool and it is iconic from the original Star Wars trilogy. And uh, I've already got one, this will be my second one. Now, I went ahead and jumped on this because I thought this set was going to be retiring this year. It was on a list, of course, you can't really live and die by those lists but um, I went ahead and got it just in case big sets like this 
they don't produce as many as these smaller sets. So if it's set to retire at some point near that retirement date, it's going to be hard to find. So I wanted to go ahead and get me another one. So I got this one I'm pretty happy about, and I'm going to hold on to that for when it does retire and over several months to several years that set's going to go up in price and I'm going to make pretty good money on that because I believe this one's going to do really well. I don't know when it's going to retire, but hopefully it'll be soon. Yoink! 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 All right, I got seven bags here. Each of these were their own listing. These are loose Lego incomplete sets for the Friends theme. So, uh, Friends doesn't do so great. They're not as in demand as Star Wars and Harry Potter and all the others. But you can you can make some good money on them, um, especially if they're new. So. I've got seven different listings. They weren't selling. I went ahead and just merged them all together. And we're saying maybe five to ten bucks into all of these. Some of them came from the bins. Some of them came from other thrift stores. Uh, but I sold all of that for $40 plus about $9 shipping. All right. We got another ALF plush and I sold one of these a couple weeks ago and I've only got about two bucks into this guy he is vintage he came from 1986 that's a great year by the way and uh, yeah no flaws on this maybe a few issues on the snout here uh, some discoloring but two dollars in and this one sold for 25 plus eight dollars shipping Alf can do good all right, I've got a Lego minifig here. This came from the Goodwill mystery box, if you can tell what that is, maybe. Uh, this is from Marvel's Spider-Man. Oh, and this is the Vulture in his bomber jacket. And uh, this one, we're saying I got a dollar into all those minifigs. And this one, I've already made my money back on that Goodwill box, by the way very quickly $13 free shipping all right we got a Funko Pop and this one is Wednesday from the Netflix series and this is a Funko.com exclusive this one has the cello that she is playing and knowing Wednesday has been such a success when these launched I went ahead and grabbed the the maximum you could buy was two went ahead and grabbed those and they sold out very quickly from Funko's website uh, and my every intention was to flip it and make some money on it. And that's what happened. Got about $22, $21.22 with shipping and, and all that. Uh, and this sold for $55. Um, and that's including shipping, of course. Uh, but I sold, I had two. This is my second one. And this one had a smudge on the mouth. So I did have to open the box and take care of of that flaw because I couldn't really sell it for the price I wanted but I did put it in the listing in the description that this thing was ordered straight from Funko I received it personally I opened it carefully and I cleaned it and put it back in the box so the buyer should know if they read what exactly they're getting but happy with that purchase here we have a Monster High doll. This is Rochelle Goyle, Gargoyle. Uh, as you can see, she is not complete. She's missing her arms and hands and no shoes or other accessories with it. Uh, but I believe I found this one at the bins or at least at a yard sale and I don't have much into it. Maybe a dollar, maybe 50 cents really. And uh, she sold for sixteen dollars and fifty cents free shipping and uh, even if it's not complete if it's a desirable doll it can do pretty decently now of course there's monster high dolls that go well above this cost if this one was complete probably would have got a little bit more for it all right if you remember my sourcing video i believe it was a short when i found all those funko pop minis uh, i also found stitch at the bins 
And I haven't had him too long, but he is in such good condition, which is a surprise at the bend. Sometimes you find some pretty rough plush, uh, but no cleaning required. And uh, I got a dollar into him, and he sold for $20 plus about $6 shipping. And Christmas in February. Um, it's pretty cool. Got a lot here of Lego tires. I couldn't really tell you what I got into these. I got a big lot from America Thrift Supply, I think 40 pounds, just like I did with Goodwill. Uh, but I lotted out the tires and wheels, and uh, I was saying maybe I got a dollar into these. I've already made my money back on that deal. It was painstaking, but I, I actually did it. The Goodwill Mystery Box was actually the best deal as far as mystery boxes so far, and that was because they had a special price on it. But anyways, these sold for $15 free shipping. It's going international, so the buyer paid the international charges. And speaking of tires, I've already started a new collection of tires, which is way more than that, so I expect to get more money on those. All right. And that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching, and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Until next time, keep on eyeing, buying, flipping, and shipping!